You mentioned that you had a couple of training camps with Mark Kerr. Could you give us a little insight onto him? Were you with him when he was kind of going off the rails or were you with Mark when he was just tight and just really focused? Go ahead. Chris, no. you were going to say something. Okay. No, no, go ahead. I've seen both sides of Kerr. Um, I knew him before we even met, you know, for fighting. Um, I knew him after, but no, that uh, the documentary, The Smashing Machine, is unfortunately pretty damn true. Uh, wow. Sad story. Like, whoever did that, that documentary was 100% legit. And, you know, Kerr, he is a cerebral thinker. thinker. He's a smart guy. He is. And, but you, you can't outthink addiction. And um, I don't know, that video really shows it. You know, the way he speaks and his um, demeanor and his awareness of his words, you can't outthink addiction. And he tried to. And I don't know, I, I look forward to... Uh, if there really is a, a another movie coming out with The Rock, but if they can really dive into that, uh, unfortunately, everything in the Smashing Machine, to my knowledge, is a hundred percent accurate. Okay, so why do you think Mark Kerr allowed them such unfettered access to his life? Ooh, good question. Um, I mean, he really wasn't making any money doing it. So why was he giving up the goods on video? Okay. Now, I've never thought about this before. And I'm shooting from the hip. But when you're in trouble and you know you're, you're in a bad spot that you want to share with somebody that you're in a bad spot, and maybe him sharing uh, his... He was like, reach out for help, cry for help. Maybe that was the only audience he could get at the time. Maybe, um, Mike, I've, I've really never thought of that, but why would you do that? Um, I mean, it's forever, it's probably, forever. I know, but he's probably in a position where he's gonna lose it forever. So, I'll show it to anybody, I'm gonna show you all my warts, and this is what it is, but. This is what it is. That's my guess. I'm just speculating. How, how were his hangers on? The guys that were hanging on him, what, what were they like? Like the guys from Syracuse and stuff? Yeah. I never really met them. Um, I met his, uh, his girl, uh, Coleman. I never got to meet the guys from Syracuse. Yeah, he, he surrounded himself with some real just kind of people that enable 